Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, how you doing? We're Hollywood stars. We look like two wrestlers. <laughs> I ought to be in movies. Yes, you should. Now, I know you've been in some because we've all heard about them and I seen them at the bookstore. Where he's already started. <laughs> we haven't got one minute into the show yet. Hey, listen. Yeah. Look at this. Boy, it, is this something? Isn't it pretty? Woo. Everybody has asked. I'm a little dizzy. Listen to this. What? Everybody has asked. They've been millions of people have been writing in and said, just <laughs> where are you all when you do this show? Uh -huh. Well, we're in Roanoke, Virginia, and this is it right behind us. For this those is... of you that thought it was just some little podunk place, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Huh? 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 This is our city, and we are darn proud of it. Are too. we going to admit it now? Yeah, yeah. That this is really just a big paper backdrop. <laughs> this has been done <laughs> They've in been the up studio. They've been painting all night long. <laughs> now, and we're standing at the foot of the star. That's why this is called Luncheon Under the Star. I'm standing at the foot of the grave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little sick lately. No. Oh, well, it is. Foot Roanoke the has the largest man made star in the world. It's over 100 feet tall. It's neon and it lights up at night. And it's we're here on the top of Mill Mountain in Roanoke. And that's the star. It's an amazing <laughs> piece of started out sheet as a metal. promotional gimmick way back right, when in and, 1949. And it stayed around so long that now instead of a promotional gimmick, it's just here. Right. And people swarm to see it. So maybe you'll swarm to see it sometime too. Don't. Yeah, anyway. right. 40 so, years ago. Bringing cooking cheap up on the mountaintop. <laughs> 50 years ago. What did I just say? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do saffron rice salad. Ooh. Well, I'm going to do a, a um, Tapopo salad. It's sort of a Mexican chef salad. Tapopo? Uh huh. No. Tapopo. Okay. Tapopo. Ba -da, ba -da, boom, boom. And let me just start because this is tedious. All right. right. All right. This is a bag of tostadas, tortilla corn chips. Oh, let me have one of them. All right, help yourself. Thank That'll you. That'll sound good on the microphone. And mm. we're going to spread these out on each one of our salad plates over here. We set an extra plate in case somebody comes by. And after I spread these uh, corn chips out, I'm going to smear them with refried beans. So this is just your old can of refried beans. I went into a Mexican restaurant recently and told them I wanted three fried beans. Oh. And I said, what? And they said, well, you know, I don't want any of that twice fried stuff. I want uh. it fried three times. Oh, and I'm sure they smacked you as well they should they and did. sent you right smacked on your me way. right into kingdom come. All right, well, now, anyway, here they are. And you just take them right out of the can. Now don't you know, hurt yourself on that they can. They are cooked. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a pretty sight. Well, no, I'm it isn't. not sure you're being very delicate about that. Well, I mean, how can you? Well, you that know. is the question. How can you? There must be a better way to do that. No, I don't think so. You just have to smear them around on here. So that's what I'm going to do now for a little while. I'm going to smear <laughs> these refried beans on these corn chips. Ooh. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a good salad, so don't. Uh, don't cast asparagus on it too much. Oh, uh, I, anything Mexican is good. Good for me. Good with me, good about me, good for me. I like it. I'm going to do saffron rice salad. Now, what saffron rice salad would be complete, Chump, without saffron rice? Doesn't that look pretty? Ooh, it I does. I did that up last night. Is that real saffron? This is or some real saffron. No, sir. This is the real thing. And boy, I want to tell you just a couple of threads. In fact, you can see the threads going through it there. Nope, it's just lovely. It's full of loveliness. And uh, I did this stuff up late last night and just got so hungry I ate some of it. So I'm not sure there's two cups here now because I think I ate some of it. But anyway, that is saffron rice and long grain. Don't use that fake stuff. You go out and buy the real thing, okay? The, the real rice, it takes 20 minutes to fix. It calls for long grain and about the only way you can do that is to start out with some real good quality. I'm afraid to set anything down. It might be in the way, okay. Now, what we got to do now, once you start with two cups of that, we start out with red and uh, green peppers. And these, we're doing this at the end of our fall season here. Doesn't matter when you see this, you'll just know that as a reference point. So these are the last two of these from my garden at the end mm. of the season, Johnson. A red one and a green one. Something like that. So anyway, what we got to do now is you take about a half of one of those and you start slicing them thinly. First thing to do is get rid of that inside. Oh, I hope I didn't put out any spectators. Uh -huh. I know back. you did. You know, we do have a lot of people here looking around off in the star. And the first thing you start doing is just real thin slicing those. Now this is going to take a little while 
And whilst I get started on it real well and what have you, I'm going to go back to Mr. Johnson, who okay. may or may not have anything decent to say. Well, now, I have a big old fat uh, thing of head lettuce, lettuce, mm -hmm. and I'm going to shred it. So I, I've washed it off, and you I really did. You love to see, like I love, love to, to see. see. Oh, 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 oh what, what a lettuce. cabbage. Now, I'm anyway. throwing it down here because we've got to toss it here in a little bit. And you just want to shred it real in little thin slices People here. People are real excited about the city. I know. Here. Look at them over there. They're going crazy. Oh, no, that old woman's trying to jump. <laughs> don't, don't, honey. It's not worth it. We won't make you eat it. <laughs> I'm just sorry we couldn't get the mayor up here. He's always a lot of fun. Well, he's afraid of heights. Oh. <laughs> That's why he won't um, come up. The mayor is a reverend, you know. A lot of people out there are probably very interested in that, but he is a reverend. Yeah. And highly reverend about everything. Now they're going to read about yeah. the star. Oh, those mm -hmm. two are going off into the bushes. It's a piece of. <laughs> Did but you Larry, notice that? <laughs> you they've got to be at least 70 years well, old. I'd say well, they're too old to go out in the bushes. <laughs> Anyway. Well, maybe they're going to go look for squirrels. Now, let me show you this. What you're supposed to do is just thin slice those that way, and I guess if you want to be real pretty fied, you do that. But I'm going to cut them once this way because I just don't like those long things. I think they're too difficult to deal with. Throw those in there. This is going to get real pretty, and you only need half of this, so save the other half. <laughs> now, I'm going to take a green one and cut it in half. Oh, that, that green one is going over to the red. Just a little tad well, that's bit. that's right, but it's still good looking. But it's still a green. There's no difference between now, a green a one and a red one anyway. You have thrown those seeds down there. We'll probably have to be pulling up pepper plants all next year. <laughs> I swear. Pepper infestation is what mm -hmm. they're going to have next mm -hmm. year. So anyway, we're going to start doing the same thing to that. We're going to start just thin slice those just a tad little bit, a little bit. And we'll continue doing that right. for a while, Mr. Johnson. Okay, thank you. Now, I've got my shredded lettuce down in this bucket, and I'm now going to chop some green uh, onions. Those look like fresh spring onions. Well, they're not, because it ain't spring. They look and, like fresh fall onions. Right, and we're going to need about, oh, a half a cup or so of these. So, And you just cut right on up the green stalk. What's wrong? I was just looking around. Oh, see what's going on? Actually, I wanted everybody out there in TV land to know I still have eyes. And the eyes have it. And you only have eyes for, for them, right? them. That's right. right. All right. So we're, we're now we're putting our chopped green onions over in here. And I hope they chopped all the way through. I'd hate to get a whole one. But, you know, w w funnier things have happened on this show. Mm -hmm. And let's see. That ought to be about a... These are wonderful recipes cup. to do outdoors because all you have to do is, is prepare your rice in advance and everything mm -hmm. else can be taken to the field and very sure. now, cleverly put together. I've got my uh, lettuce in there and now I've got a, look at this layer. This is a jalapeno. Jalapeno. <laughs> jalapeno. And I would like to say where it came from, but the guy that gave it to me works as an engineer at another TV operation, and you know they're all in trouble around here now, so we can't mention them on the air, but he was real kind to, to offer me this out of his garden, and I'm going to treat it very carefully that because these things... That doesn't constitute some kind of collusion or I anything. I know. Well, I'm it? afraid I'll end up in federal court. Yeah. But anyway, these are highly dangerous because they will burn you for days if you get it on your skin. Well, I thought so, I saw a fed hanging out of that bush over there a minute So ago. I am not going to... But he went in there with that old woman to do anything uh, where this will touch me because I don't want to burn for days. I'm going to burn for You're years. You're going to burn anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> Eventually, but... Uh, okay, I'm going to take the green ones and uh, plop them uh, into uh, the salad. Next thing I'm going to start doing now, do you think I should give this to some of these spectators over here? Perhaps? No, let me give them the other half of this one. Uh, <laughs> why don't you put some of that in this one? Uh -huh. Anyway, is I'm going to start coarse chopping a tomato. This is the last tomato of my garden this year. I am just so, I'm so shook up about it. I'm going to coarse chop it. So I'm going to start doing that right now. While I'm chopping up this jalapeno, and this thing has got to be minced, I mean, big time. And I know we'll get thousands of people writing us letters about our chopping and mincing techniques. Mm-hmm. I know I don't want to ever be caught doing it improperly. 
Oh, did you hear that, well, everybody? That sounds the, like it's time to go home. That's well, I'll, I'll be seeing you all. That's the uh, shift whistle down at the railroad. Don't we get off now at this point? No. Oh. We have to finish doing the show whether we like to or not. Oh, all right. All right. Now, my, I have not even got a whole jalapeno because I don't want to burn everything up. I was talking to uh, Doris a while ago, and she said she had some chili that liked to set her free the other night. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to hurt her too bad, but this is finely minced jalapeno, raw jalapeno pepper, and that is going to go over into the salad greens. And now, let's see, what else do I have to add to it? All right, now, I'm going to add a can of red kidney beans. Whoa! Now, We're they're right here. We're talking trouble right here in now, Magic City. I opened these kidney beans up previously and rinsed them off real good. You want to rinse them off. Uh-huh. And you're going to throw these over into your salad. Now, that's to get all of the natural syrup and everything. Right, because that, you know, your, that off will up. get kind of floury and a lot of starch. So mm -hmm. you want to get that off of. And now I'm going to um, uh, toss this with my bare hands <laughs> down in here a little bit. And this is only the first part of this. And you got to toss it up real good so you mix up that jalapeno down in here because you don't want to have anybody get a big whole uh, load, of, load of jalapeno on there. It could be very disastrous. But this is the best way to toss this particular salad is with your God-given hands. Now. Those are your actual natural hands? These are my natural no. hands. Okay. And I'm going to now dress this salad just a tad with some oil and vinegar uh, dressing that I made up, and it's just a, a good olive oil. He had a cute little jumper suit on it earlier, and, but uh, now he's a little bit of, it. And uh, a little bit of vinegar, and I'm gonna throw that in here and dress that right now, and start, and we're gonna toss this real good, and then we're gonna put it on here, and then we'll be about halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, because we're about halfway through, so that works out okay. real nice. Uh -huh. So, just take your time, just take your time. Things but you want to make sure your, well. your, your greens and your onions and your beans are all tossed and dressed. And now I will delicately <laughs> <laughs> plop. Well, this is starting to look like well, a, a yeah. very beautiful salad. Real tasty. Very lovely. Now, we put a few more beans over here on this one and spread it out. Now, remember, these are on your chips that have your refried beans on them already. Normally, this would make a salad for four, but, you know, we're this is a TV salad, so we're, we're making them a little bit bigger. We're out here out of doors, and people can't see quite as well. <laughs> all right, now. I know I can't. I haven't <laughs> seen anything since we've been on the air. All the sun right, now shining that, in my eyes. All right, now that takes care all of that particular step. And you want to do something over oh, there? Oh, yeah, then? I guess I will. I'm going to add to this mess. Of course, we've got the saffron rice, and we've got the uh, uh, red and, and green peppers. Now I've taken one tomato, fresh from my garden, last one there is, and I did rough chopped it. That's rough chops, and I'm going to put that in there right now, too. This is getting to be a rather formidable salad. It's, you it's got into be... that rough chopping right after the Karate Kid, right? It was, oh, uh, right after the Karate Kid. You like rough that chops. old geezer and like that. Yeah, that's just right. Just taught you all that you know about rough chops. Now, the next thing we add to this thing is we need to add uh, some chickpeas. Ooh. Oh, the very lovely. You don't like chickpeas? No, I don't care for garbanzos. Yeah? No. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a little deal with you. Okay. I'll go real light on the chickpeas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to go too heavy on them anyway. You don't have that. Right? I, well, I'm not supposed to have that many. <laughs> supposed to just have a few. Uh -huh. I hate to be a delicate about this. Oh, no. I'm going to have to be. Oh, please don't look. I hope I'm the so... police don't find out you're littering. <laughs> well, we are, we are, after all, outdoors. I think well, we're it's going to be covered up here. And we're just going to throw a couple of those in there. But there might be a deer or a bear around no, here that will have bad gas have, tonight. Must have been. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been a good year for garbanzos. Look at those the size of those things. 
Do you think that's enough? That's natural. Would that make you yeah, nervous? Yeah, they're about like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, take a look at that. Oh, Isn't that pretty thus far? Amazing. Oh, they look good. Oh, it does, it does. All right. What now, you got now, all right, Mr. Johnson? Now, I have now got a half a pound of these little shrimps. Oh, well, look at those. They do give shrimp a whole new name. Right. They and are right tiny. And I'm going to... Were those pre-frozen? Those some of those were no. pre-frozen. No, they weren't. They were pre-fresh. They they were formerly fresh and then canned, <laughs> and now dragged out here. Right. And we all hope we live to tell it. I hope they haven't gotten bad. <laughs> Nothing worse no. than a bad shrimp. Uh huh. And anyway, you, you put your shrimps, and you could use if you don't like seafood, you could use cooked turkey on this. Mm. And you could, just like for any chef salad, okay. you could use that a lot of That would be it. a lot cheaper, too, wouldn't it? Uh, actually not, if you use these little canned shrimps. They're not too big. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to put an avocado on here, but i got to peel it first. Oh, no, that's so such a misery. I'm going to undress this avocado, and you go ahead and do whatever it is that you feel that it is necessary for you to do while I show these people how I am deftly able to peel this Cotto. Well, the next thing I got to do is I've got to put in some olives thinly sliced. <laughs> I want you to see these thinly sliced olives. Oh my gosh. These are lightly chopped, not thinly sliced, but what can you do, folks? So you I could picked slice up, them. You I could picked get up big the ones wrong and slice them. No, I didn't want to do that. It was too much work. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't have time to deal with it. That looks like the greatest of plenty. And we're going to add, this thing is kind of a strange, oh, we have to add some fresh peas. I just picked these uh, right out here a few liar, minutes liar, ago. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> well, they look fresh. Well, and so did you when you went out this They're not still frozen morning. either. That's the wonderful thing about it. We're going to put some of those in there. Either God is frowning on us or the sun has hit that big pine tree. I believe the sun <laughs> has hit something up there. I don't know what. And this thing calls for whole almonds. And I don't understand that. It looks like it could break your tooth on something like that. So you know what I'm going to do? Uh, what? I'm going to take some, I'm sorry, I'm going to vary just a little. You can use whole almonds if you want to. It doesn't matter. I won't be offended if you do. But I'm going to use just some some slivered almonds in well, it. Well, I think that's I think that'd be real right. nice, and I won't choke and kill my cooking partner accidentally out here in the middle uh -huh. of nowhere. You certainly wouldn't want to do that. Now what we're going to do is toss this. That saffron rice and all that. Boy, I tell you, this is a pretty salad. It's and a look very at that. powerful salad. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a perfectly peeled avocado. Oh, that is wonderful. Now I'm going to have it. <laughs> Half it. And yeah. I'm just tossing this, and we're going to wait for Mr. Johnson to finish up with that, and then we're going to make a nice little vinaigrette dressing. Well, if I can do it here, I don't know whether I can or not. I have a secret to getting the seeds out of those things. Oh, I'm scared to ask. I don't want to hurt it because I want to grow it. I haven't done one of those for a long time, and I decided I would do it on this recipe. How do you do it? Well, I always take the two halves and twist them. Oh. But you're a little late for that now. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if I can prize it out. There it goes. Don't put your eye out now. Okay. Now I'm going to take that home and grow it. Oh, it's cut just a little. Next year, we'll have avocados and everything uh -huh. we cook. Now you have to slice this baby. And I'm going to do that into That's little terrible. thin slices. <laughs> and uh, put that on our salad. So, Bly, I'll continue to do this if you've got something else to do there. Well, what we've got to do is we've got to make up a little vinaigrette dressing, and I actually remember to bring a container around to do it with. And what we do is we start out with uh, four tablespoons of real wine, red wine, not real wine, vinegar, red wine vinegar. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> you didn't get the real? Oh, I did, but I can't get it open. Do not adjust your set. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I don't want to laugh, but... <laughs> oh, go ahead, you're dying to laugh. Oh, there we go, and thank heavens it doesn't have a cork in it. That would be the next obstacle that we would have to, to deal with. Oh, I've got a corkscrew in the car. Oh, Lord, it's got one of these shaker tops. Oh, I thought they were dying out. <laughs> Where'd that, lid go? Know. <laughs> Where'd that lid go? I don't know, but I've got vinegar all over my feet. 
How am I going to explain that at the office? Those things are not supposed to fly out of there like that. But it did. And I can assure you, I want you to witness, there is no top down inside that, so none of I, us will You know die. I'll get it. I well, always, you won't. A little bit of salt. I always do when I come to your house. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Virgin olive oil, just enough to make it look real pretty. And uh, some corn oil. I'm just guesstimating this, but I know it's going to be wonderful. I always say that. And a little bit of fresh ground pepper also goes in there. And I brought my fresh ground pepper oh, well, good. mill along. And yes, it is working today. I think it's working a lot better than the last time we went out. And just shake it all up, and you'll be ready to serve this stuff. Shake and that's what I'm going to do. We want to look at the recipes, or you still got something I, to do? I've got to slice these tomatoes, but we can start to look at the recipes while uh, I'm doing the job on these all very, right. very hard first of the winter tomatoes. <laughs> I'm shaking this up. Saffron rice salad, uh, the uh, one and a half cups or two cups of long grain rice, a half a teaspoon of saffron threads, and you, you know, do that all together, and that makes your saffron rice. A uh, little, uh, one half of a sweet uh, red pepper, a half of a green pepper, one ripe tomato, chopped roughly, uh, one cup of cooked chickpeas, one cup of cooked fresh peas, third cup of black olives, thinly sliced or smushed, as they were in my case, one third cup of whole almonds, or you can get the almonds all uh, just uh, finely sliced. And then you make the vinaigrette dressing with four tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, six tablespoons of virgin olive oil, and two tablespoons of corn oil, and a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And that's what you got. Mm. And in my recipe, you have to have a bag of tostados, one half to a, one cup of refried beans, Mexican style, a minced uh, jalapeno pepper, just a teaspoon of it, uh, a half cup of chopped green onions, an eight ounce can of red kidney beans that should be washed, the, not the can, but the beans, a half pound of cooked shrimp, not raw. Uh, you might have a half a pound of cooked turkey, an avocado that has been peeled and sliced, and uh, two medium tomatoes and thin wedges, oil and vinegar, and the final thing will be some shredded Romano cheese. Ooh. So, I'll tell you, now this salad is looking prettier all the time. Mm-hmm. And also the saffron rice salad would be real lovely if it wasn't for the fact that Johnson has just made this big concoction with millions of tons of stuff on it. Makes mine look real piddly, but it's not. It's real good, I'm sure. Now well, it's because you ate so much of it last What time. I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little of my vinaigrette dressing, and we're just going to pour that right over top of just a little bit. This is a snappy dressing, real snappy. And that's it. You've got yourself a wonderful salad, and so pretty, too. Now, I'm going to grate Marvelous. my cheese. Oops. <laughs> Well, that just went real well. <laughs> All over the top of this. This is Pecorino Woo. Romano. Oh. And that just goes all over the top of this. Just a veritable snowflake, snowstorm of the Pecorino Romano. And Larry, look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. They look awfully good. Let's have a fork and try some. Well, I brought extra ones because you know how they find this. Well, let's try yours first. All right. I'm really anxious because I love saffron rice. Uh -huh. and it's always so tasty. <laughs> He's oh, just... look, I managed to get a fork full without a garbanzo bean on it. Mm. Mm. That's a right respectable salad. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's real tasty. Mm. That's a real good crunch to it. Well. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a small salad this is. This is beautiful. This would be a meal unto itself. It would, it, it would. would, and it will, it will. It will. <laughs> would, would, will, will. Well, hey, mm. I'm going to get down to those chips and all that refried beans and stuff. Mm. Ooh, this is tasty. This is wonderful. Mm. Well, you know, we're doing all these parties this year, and we've gotten some sad news. What? Well. Uh, there, there are going to be some retirements around. And now, some people don't know they're going to be retiring, but uh, they are. And uh, next week, we're going to have a retirement party. Oh, isn't, uh, that, isn't nice. that nice? I hope uh, we can send off someone we're tired of. Right. Uh-huh. 
Well, listen, everybody, we're so glad you could be with us today here under the star on Mill Mountain in our home, Roanoke. See you soon. Bye.